everyone. What a glorious morning it is too. And if you look down, you may know something different. You may notice something different about this bike. It's no longer my old CBR. It's now my new SV650S. Yes. Yeah. Uh, picked it up a couple of nights ago. I uh, went out on it yesterday. Didn't really make a vlog. I was sort of too busy riding the thing. Now I'm on the road with it. And what a difference it is over that 1Z5. It has things like power. <laughs> and speed. Uh, yeah, I've been sitting in the garage for about seven years. So it took a lot of encouragement to get it going. There's a lot of things that need to be doing. The carbs needed cleaning. They were horrible. The coil on the rear cylinder wasn't very good either, so that had to be replaced. And even new tyres, calipers are completely seized, so I had to get new front and rear calipers. Oh, look at this poor bastard. Nothing left as a scooter rider. This is why they sh 50cc scooters shouldn't be allowed on the road. Make it 125 minimum size because look, look this poor sod he's been forced into the gutter he can only be doing about 30 tops there we go front the right gear I said gear change is a little bit different as well so my foot has to be a lot wider too or further off the pavement than that CBR. I'm still trying to get my adjust myself to. So carbs still need balancing on this as well because they're really out of sync. It pops like you wouldn't believe between four and six thousand RPM, which is where I am at the moment. get that done. I can't do it this weekend because I'm working Saturday and Sunday and I'm a little bit busy. It's going to be the following weekend when I get my exhaust. My Uncle Dave will sort that out. He's a mechanic for Yamaha for all of his life basically so what he doesn't know about bikes probably isn't worth knowing. And yeah I'll get my exhaust. But the one I'm going to get is a Scorpion oval carbine. It's about seven or eight inches long and it looks brilliant and it sounds really really good as well always get that. It's funny thing was I kind of was looking around exhaust to get for this bike uh, a week or so ago because I knew I was getting this and I was travelling to work and a guy on an SV650 pulls up beside me and he had that exhaust on and it sounded fucking brilliant. He did have the baffling which you know kind of restricts the sound a little bit But, you know, never mind. <laughs> it's just great going to work on something. It's got a little bit more get up and go than my last bike. Which is for sale. But yeah, that I think I made a video about a dilemma I was having whether to have, keep the 125 and just use it as a commuter bike. No, that dilemma's solved. Get into gear, you bastard. Did the traffic spanks up all along here? Yeah, so it's sending a uh, CBR. It's going to keep this. So this is my project bike. This is one I'm going to be doing all the changes to. So then I might just get another recipe for a commuter bike. That'd be fun. power comes in at about the same points as my CBR does. It's about 6 hours and so about 9,000 you get the, the power sort of comes into play. Obviously there's just a lot more on this than that 125. It's not as comfy and I have to admit my CBR had a really comfy seat. I was on this for about an hour and a, well, a couple of hours yesterday and yeah, my arse started to hurt a little bit. Whereas my CBR can sit on that all day. My knees get a little bit cramped because it's quite a low seat. But other than that, it's actually a fairly comfy bike. 
with a seat on this isn't quite as sumptuous but oh well never mind come on have to be a little bit more gentle with the floor <laughs> So as I was riding it back from Uncle's house the other night, I came across a roundabout and I was coming off of it and I opened the throttle a bit too much and bang, my head snapped back. <laughs> oh fuck, that took me by surprise. But yeah, it's... It's fairly light, it flicks on its to left and right really easily loads of power. My uncle rode it as well and he was actually surprised because he's used to sort of big litre plus bikes and like his Buell's like a 1200 engine in it and he used to have a ZX9 so he's used to sort of quite large capacity Larry bikes and he was, even he was surprised by it. He's giving it some beans on a bit of a test ride. What a day, eh? What a beautiful day. Thank you. It just feels like a proper bike, it doesn't feel like a large bicycle like my CPR did. I'm not saying anything bad about the CPR, it's actually a very, for what it is, it's a very good bike. Of my heart for that all one C five. Not been able to do that before. Okay, everyone, it's just a lot of intro to my new bike. I'm extremely happy, I'm green like a Cheshire cat that's done lots of ecstasy and sucked down a couple of balloons of nitrous oxide so, till, well, till next time, bye bye, ride safe